Well, 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 here we are back after just more than seven months, seven independent reviewers or participants of the test in progress for the Stein, as we have come to know it, the titanium beverage container for uh, designed for beer with a bit of a uh, tulip shaped or f fluted, uh, a flute shaped uh, edge. Now, this is just a little over seven months, and again, seven independent reviewers. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, it's been returned. <laughs> this, uh, this Stein has traveled no less than, uh, well, I couldn't even begin to give a, uh, an estimate as to actual mileage, but it's traveled back and forth across the continental United States. It's not left the continental United States for any of the tests. Everything was U.S. based. And uh, I have had quite a number of conversations with the participants of the Stein test. Uh, looks like we've got... <laughs> okay, here we go. A uh, little insert here, some nice packing with the foam. I appreciate it, guys. Gentlemen, thank you. Uh, we've got 11117, Dr. Dave, 21318, Darwin, 612, 2018, Martin. We've got uh, Sergeant Doug Scotto, back in uh, 11 of 12, well, 1112, that would have been 2017, and 122817, uh, Death Before Dishonor. Tanker Tom. Thanks, brother. <laughs> appreciate the, uh, <laughs> the uh, indicators there. And uh, appreciate the, uh, the steel flame. I believe this is a steel flame sticker. I'm, I'm going to... Yes, it is. Steel flame. So, appreciate the insert there, gentlemen. Really do. And appreciate all of your, your very valuable input and commentary. So, I will provide a, a quick summation myself uh, or a summary of uh, what I've been told by the participants of the, the test in progress. In essence, uh, by we've got again a, a complete titanium body. It's double walled and uh, with this with this um, uh, tulip shaped or, or flared rather uh, edge on the on the lips that are intended and in my experience help to reduce the foam that has an Im a tendency to impact your your nose or your mustache or you know to interfere with consuming beer or ale or some other uh, beer like beverage now uh, a number of individuals including myself have used this uh, stein for consuming other beverages uh, iced drinks iced tea uh, iced cocktails and uh, uh, also other warm beverages. Again, the double wall helps to insulate and uh, also helps to reduce sweating on an ice beverage. In other words, you put an ice cold beer into this container and it will not sweat. You put any iced beverage into a single walled titanium uh, beverage container and it will sweat on the outside. And again, aluminum, stainless steel, anything that's single walled will typically sweat when you have that variable of the internal uh, temperature of the beverage versus the exterior uh, temperature, ambient temperature on the outside. Uh, obviously it's a scientific thing, a little beyond my uh, abilities to completely describe and who really cares at this point, correct? So uh, another uh, indicator that I have received is, uh, as far as feedback, is that this being intended for beer is not really completely suitable for American beer consumption habits. Uh, it, uh, at the full volume is just under 10 uh, ounces or uh, just a little bit more under 300 milliliters. So, you know, again, I personally don't have a problem consuming that uh, volume of beer per setting or per pour. Uh, it actually helps me to just, you know, reduce my consumption as well and to truly enjoy the, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the beverage itself. 
Uh, that is one of the indicators that I've received from uh, several individuals that you know it's just a little on the small side for what they are habitually or what their their usual and customary intake of beer is. The uh, other thing that seems to be relatively uniform is that by pre, I thought it was pre-chilling. I pre-chill my stein with ice. I'll put some ice in it, let the interior chill, dump out the ice. You've probably seen it, and uh, then introduce the beer. And uh, I've noticed that that reduces the amount of foam, the head of the beer. So you're not ending up with, you know, this much foam from here up. Uh, it reduces the level of foam uh, on the interior of the container. Some of the feedback I've been getting is that uh, that may also be because uh, I've introduced some water, because a little bit of the ice melt creates uh, a water barrier, perhaps, or a water uh, lining. Um, on the inside of the of the stein, and that perhaps that little bit of water introduced to the surface of the interior helps to reduce the the froth of the foam and the uh, the head of the beer. I don't know if that's uh, the case, but I just do notice that when I put ice in there, that that's the case. Some of the other individuals that participated with this pass around indicated that they noticed something very similar to that, and some of them indicated that they they too did introduce ice cubes to their stein before they performed their beer pour. So with that said, I, frankly, I had encouraged any kind of exterior decoration by way of maybe a carving or you know, initialing or something like that. Everybody, all seven, all lucky seven, um, did not take an opportunity to uh, embellish the stein in any way. And uh, uh, I was actually kind of looking forward to it, but I do appreciate the fact that uh, <laughs> you guys uh, did chime in a little bit uh, after the fact. So again, salute. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And uh, this uh, particular stein, will, uh, we'll see what its next portion of its life will be all about.